even more news about Automobilista 2 and a surprise in this video right here, right now. Greetings petrol heads and welcome to romrom.net, the channel sharing the joy of sim racing. This weekend, Riza published an interesting video with what seems to be a race against the AI in the Brazilian sports prototype Metal Moro, recorded while the pilot was wearing a VR set. That is not the only interesting thing in that video. It shows a three lab race at Imola. The graphics look very much like Project Cars 2, surprise it's the madness engine. And if you look attentively to the wheel, you'll see quite realistic movements hinting at a very good force feedback and very sensible physics. They also gave the data of the PC they recorded the VR gameplay with. And it's quite a normal computer with a GTX 1070 as a GPU. The gameplay looks quite fluid and the graphics quite acceptable. Not like that other sim on which VR runs only at very low levels of quality unless you own a high-end GPU. Furthermore, you see a transition from day into night and Riza have stated that they wanted to put some rain in there but as the wiper animation is not finished yet, they just didn't. They promised to show it at a later point. On top of that, they have announced Donington and Snetterton for both Automobilista 1 and Automobilista 2, making it clear that those of us who own the Automobilista Seasons Pass will get those tracks for free. They have also confirmed Brands Hatch, Alton Park and Catwell Park for Automobilista 2, all made based on LiDAR scan data. Another good thing, they will have something like an early release, they call it an early backing campaign. If you want to, you can already pre-order Automobilista 2 directly from Riza, unluckily only through PayPal, which not only give you access to the Automobilista 2 beta some weeks before the 1.0 release, as well as being a season's pass for the first two years. Adding to that, you'll get a complete Automobilista 1, including a season's pass. Which brings us to our little surprise. Of course, we have already bought into the early backing campaign. But as we already have Automobilista 1 and a season's pass, we have no use for that Steam key. We're giving it away. Type the address shown on the video to know what you have to do to get it. Good luck everyone. Back to the early backing campaign from Riza. They have made it clear this is not a crowdfunding. They have all the money they need to fund the development of Automobilista 2. Instead, the money will go, and I quote, towards allowing us to acquire some premium licenses at a quicker rate and hopefully in time for initial release." End quote. There is no need to rush to be part of the early backing campaign as it will only be closed around mid of November, a couple of weeks before Automobilista 2 gets released. Unless of course you want that Automobilista 1 key right now. You'll find the link to the page where Razer explains the campaign and gives you the possibility to take part of it in the description of this video. How much the early backing campaign from Riza is gonna hurt your bank account depends on different things. If you're a completely new member, never had to do anything with Riza or Automobilista, it will cost you almost 120 US dollars. If you already own Automobilista 1 and all DLCs, it will cost you 100 dollars. If you're a Riza member and backed Sim Racing Bonanza, which brought Automobilista 1, 
of level 3 of or below it's gonna cost you $90 Simriza Bonanza backers of level 4 will have to shell $80 those who were Simraising Bonanza backers of level 5 and above won't have to pay a dollar what it brings you it brings you the Automobilista 2 base game an Automobilista 2 seasons pass for the first two years an Automobilista 1 and seasons pass key Razer 51 access and voting rights in development polls Automobilista 2 beta access which they expect to start mid November a backer badge in your user profile and an early access to car templates with the chance to include skin and author's name as its driver okay all all all, all very nice all very very good but what does the automobilista 2 seasons pass mean at the moment this is what Razer has planned for the first two years two expansion packs with cars and tracks to be announced and surprisingly because they had said differently an expansion pack 3 which is gonna be a dirt pack also they have planned to release a DLC with legendary racetracks part 1 to 5 they also say more items expected to be added so let's see what we get if we compare it to the DLCs of Automobilista 1, I think we are getting quite a good package as those DLCs were quite good and quite interesting and Riza did not stop making things for Automobilista 1. In fact, as I said, they're gonna release Donington and Snetterton for Automobilista 1 still. Let's be clear, they are not making any promises. They are just showing you what they have planned and saying this is what you can expect to get from us but they are not promising that you're gonna get it another thing that Riza has said is expect news about confirmed cars and tracks for the 1.0 of AMS2 starting next month it seems they are quite far in discussing licenses from the looks of it Riza is doing the right things and moving in the right direction hopefully Automobilista 2 will help a company that has given us sim racers a jam to work with which is Automobilista 1 and we at romrom.net have very high hopes for its second installment. If you want to know more about Automobilista 2, check the playlist we have set up about it. And if you feel so inclined, check also the tons of videos that we have sharing the joy of sim racing. If you like this video, applaud by giving it a thumbs up and share it with others. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell to become part of the Rum Rum family and to be informed about new videos. And if you already did, thank you very much again. And until next time, save fuel, collect pickup, and we'll see each other at the podium. Visit romrom.net to connect to fellow sim racers and sim racing fans. 